introduction. Hello, my name is Dennis Moran. I'm the operations manager here at Historicor. And today we wanted to talk about trailer, trailer safety and chains specifically. These are your safety chains and these prevent, if God forbid this was to come dislodged from your truck, you would have one last resort and these safety chains would keep it connected. The other thing we wanna talk about how it's imperative that you create this cradle, this cross, so that if, again, if this was to become dislodged, it will hit the cradle and it will all stay connected. If these are running parallel, it's just gonna fall right through the gap. But the main point of this, today's discussion is to talk about that. And if you can see that link, it's completely severed and the other side, the other one here isn't doing much better. So we're gonna to have to cut this out and honestly, this is all a result of the chains just being a little too long and dragging on the ground and creating sparks. And the other problem with that is we live in Colorado and we're driving all over the place in the summertime. If you're setting off sparks all over the place, especially in the woods or in the prairies, you could potentially start a wildfire. So don't want to do that. We want to make sure we have some clearance there so you can alternatively quick fix is just to give it a couple of twists and then reconnect and always make sure that your hooks are going outside as opposed to inside okay it's also easier to hook together like that that's it you guys have a good day i'll see you next time